How are you? Welcome back. Still journalist hangout. In a tragic incident, the popular cutting quarry textile market in Kano was engulfed by a fire on Saturday night, resulting in the destruction of goods and property valued at millions of naira. The inferno began in a building which housed more than 100 shops and quickly spread to at least 15 stores, leaving shop owners in shock and despair. A report by the Kano State Fire Service revealed that the fire was caused by a solar electricity fault. The Katinkwari Market Union, through its public relations officer, Anas Mohammed Zango, assured traders that proactive measures will be taken to forestall future occurrence. Adi Wale Adi, many of the traders in this textile market, they've suffered... I mean, significant financial losses yeah. and many of their livelihood all up in flames. What, what, what's it's very, it's, it's very sorrowful. Very unfortunate. Um, coming at this very difficult moment that yes. people are struggling to, to survive. At this time. That market is one of the biggest uh, tester markets you know, in this country. And uh, for that place to just go up in flames like that, you know, it's very unfortunate. So my heart goes to the victims of this uh, avoidable uh, carnage. Mm. But it's also important for us to say that this is a human error. It's not an act of God. It could have been prevented. Mm. We need to take more um, interest in protecting strategic locations. Wherever you have markets, we need to have fire service, not too far or actually within that market. Mm. Because what I read was that this quality, it started around 10 p.m. Okay. when most of them have gone home. At that time, only a few people will be in the market, security men and all that. But it had been, they said it, it had to do with solar. Um, yeah, 40 you know, solar equipment. Yes. But if there was a uh, swift response, we could have been able to put this fire to check it before you know, it started. It's a fire safety protocol. Yes, you there. find out that most of our shops, they don't even have fire extinguishers. And how much does it cost? So people don't even know how to use it, mm. you know. So if you have a shop, it should not cost you. It, should, it's not, it doesn't cost you nothing to have fire extinguisher. That is about fifteen thousand naira, because you will be protecting yourself and you also be protecting the property that is in that place. So we need to educate ourselves more. If you have a property of about one million naira, you should be able to have fire extinguisher. Those quality men, I'm sure. They don't they have. Don't know how to use it. And how to use how to use it. Mm. Some people don't know that if you use the extinguisher once, you can't use it twice. You have to go and refill. Mm. It happened to me when there was a fire incident. I bought it at home. I, I use it. Then suddenly I realized that. So I kept it at home. Then there was another incident. I wanted, you to, wanted to use it. My again. neighbor. Mm. I couldn't use it again. So I didn't know how to refill. You can imagine even at my own level. So we need to be more conscious. Mm. And I think we need to educate more our people more. Most houses don't have fire extinguisher. Sure. Go there, you find even cars. They don't have it. So we need to be more security conscious in order to be able to prevent mm. um, you know, cases like this. Uh, BK, the canteen quarry market mm. yes. authorities, they said it lacked the adequate fire safety protocol, just like what Adia said. Without sounding insensitive, is there a lesson to be learned? Yes, and I think uh, some of the steps that are going to take now could help stop um, this uh, recurrence of this uh, kind of disaster. Now they've uh, told the tra traders to remove gas cylinders used by food vendors, sure. remove them uh, from the market, and locate generators. You know, in some market, generators will be localized in one. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, one um, area. Mm. So that if there's a problem, the problem starts from that point, from you can contain it. Exactly. From there. But you and I know that most of the time, these fires are caused by um, a power surge. Like the one that happened in Lokoja, it was power surge, and mm. tra the traders were at home sleeping when it happened. And that was why, before help could come, that market was completely raised. Canton Quarry Market is an international market. Traders come from places as distant as Central Africa Republic to come and buy textiles. Text they, yes, they also sell jewelry mm. like gold. 
You know, so it's not a market that should be uh, treated with levity because okay. some of the richest men in Kano, they operate from there. Okay. Yes, it used to be close to my uh, then office, just uh, near Enkura Market. So it's a place that I've been to a lot. Than the, the business that is transacted there in a day. It's on a heavy. You mm. cannot, <laughs> you cannot with it. So this sort of disaster should um, should not be allowed to happen. True. Sure. We are happy for one thing. It didn't spread to the entire length of the market. The, the damage was not um, uh, very substantial. But for the victims, you can't begin to talk like that to them. They are the ones who know exactly. what they have lost. You know? Mm. So the, um, let the government situate uh, a fire station okay. close to that market as well as the Mohammed Mamadou Rime market, mm -hmm. which is another very big market in Kano. No, Kano is the center of commerce. Okay. So they have some very big markets, whether it's for grains or for food uh, or for textile, they have very big markets. So they need to um, plant fire stations. Very close. Yes, to so that once there's the a disaster, plants. they must create the, this. And those markets, they must build roads in Access between them roads, that okay. will enable firefighters to be able yes. to drive through. Mm. Mm. Because the way they build those markets, you know, mm. alpha sadly, does not even allow firefighters Firefighter. to move freely. Mm. So okay. these are things that they can do okay. so that when disaster comes, because we can't say disasters won't happen, sure. you know, we can't legislate against mm. it, they can move freely and just and, yeah, exactly. quench the fire in good time. Exactly. In 30 seconds, your partner. Yeah, all our markets, not just uh, Kano. Um, you know, look at what happened at uh, Keja Cantonment. If you go there now, you see so many markets. The bomb explosion several years mm. ago. Go there now, you see huge markets everywhere. We must build markets with security in security mind. Security. And what has happened should teach other state governors lessons mm. that they need to take preventive measures. Okay. Thank you very much, Adiwali Adi. Thank you. Thank you very much for this conversation. The veteran, be careful. Thank you. Thank you so much yeah. for having this conversation. And